Ladies and gentlemen, I got a call yesterday. An individual was in town, and they wanted to meet with me that I know well, and they are a high-level manager in the TSA. And I went and met with them and had a cup of coffee with them. And they said, you got to warn people. Tuesday, we got called in, the managers, and told that by the middle of September, that the new policy is being written, that this is done. They were told this is happening. This is not hypothetical. You will all have to wear masks again and so will airport employees. Then by the middle of October, they are going to say that everyone flying has to wear a mask. And in the meetings, people began to ask them, well, I mean, why is this happening? They said, well, because of the new variant in Canada and because of the WHO, they may you know, declare this, but regardless, We've been told this is going to happen. And then they were told, we expect by December a return to the full COVID protocol of 2020-2021. And I was given many more details. I wrote down notes on it. Then I left. Called the first federal connection that I was thinking of. Didn't answer. Called the second. Answered. Told them what I'd been told. And they said, what day was that? I said, Tuesday. They said, yep, we were told yesterday, this is, yesterday was Thursday, so it was Wednesday, expect COVID protocols to begin rolling out middle of September. And I said, what else were you told? Basically, that they believe this new variant's super bad and that they're doing the testing and that they should just get ready for a whole new rollout of what happened before. And this was Border Patrol connected people I was talking to and testing at the border again in the whole shooting match. That's two federal agents that told me this yesterday. And then I went and looked at the news, and there they were saying Canada's looking at new restrictions again because of the variant, and so is the EU. And what did the Russians just put out three days ago? U.S. is plotting another pandemic. Russian head of the defense ministry warns. Now, new lockdowns will starve the third world. New lockdowns will destroy small businesses. New lockdowns will take the average person that's already $5,000 in the hole and their paycheck is, is, is just on time. We'll put them into full bankruptcy. And the children in the mask and the, the attempt to push a new shot for the new variant and we're right back in the same hell hole. We were in just a few years ago. And why is it perfect timing? Because you go into the election year, they had the last crisis go over two and a half years. They'll bare minimum run this through the next election. It's only 14, 15 months out with mail-in ballots again. And we have all the eyewitnesses and testimony that they'd get the mail-in ballots. And in some cases, they were 99% for Joe Biden. Who believes that? U.S. Postal Service whistleblowers, USPS, <laughs> poll watching witnesses I, I have it all here we'll play it next hour we do not have to sit here and take <coughs> the same criminal un global wf new world order regimes second rollout of lockdowns and attempts at force injections and travel restrictions and being told you're not essential we don't have to lay down and die and for the third world but they'll lock them down again under imf world bank control It is a literal death sentence. They estimate over 80 million people starved to death the last three and a half years because of the COVID restrictions. 
Plenty of all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Yahakurash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the Lord and God's God. In His name and He remains, He exists, and Yahweh's name is the only begotten Son, the Lord and God, Jesus Christ. In His name and He remains, He delivers. By Hashem is in the name, by Yahakurash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of will. Peace and blessing unto the sister I'm going to push forward in the truth. Cut the four corners of the earth. I want to show them to buttons and keep pushing. And a double show on unto the Israelites. This is looking like the other nations. And this is Shirak Watim. I want to show them to buttons and sisters as well. My name is DeWa from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at another video. And, um, so Kanye, this is what we've been telling you. You know, I'm just FYI, I'm not doing this video of any monetary gain. It's only strictly educational purposes only, and on the the Fair Use Copyright Act, okay, of 1972. So I'm in with, I'm within my rights. Just strictly criticism, and under my um, First Amendment right, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Okay, and uh, yeah. And because, hey, this is a real thing, you know, um, this, you know, the sickness is out and the pestilence, because the Lord already warned of uh, pestilences that's about to get ready and hit the earth, okay, and this is one of them, uh, you know, the COVID-19, okay, like this new variant that's uh, out, you know, and, and it's a lot of people that's getting sick now. Okay, I, I myself am under the weather, but um, I'm kind of, hey, but I'm going to have faith in you. How about Shemiel Shai? Okay, I'm not going to, um, you know, lose my faith and uh, trust what people say. I'm going to trust what you, how about Shemiel Shai says. And if I got to go, I got to go. Okay. Because the Lord controls who lives and who dies. You know, and uh, this lockdown is about to get ready to happen. This is just a prelude to the famine of the word because they already have um, the Hebrew Israelites on the, red, on the red list. So it's just another one of Satan's devices to try to get us to uh, bend the knee and get off the streets and stop teaching, okay? And, um, hey, so be it. Because the faster you move, Esau, is, is the faster that we get out of this place and the faster you go into slavery, okay? The same way how we went into slavery. Because uh, you, you Edomites, your time is up, okay? You got and had a good run, you know, uh, how about Shemiel Shai gave us into your hand and you did whatever whatsoever you wanted. You even took it to the next level. Because the Lord said that he was only a little displeased. Okay, but you damn devils, you know, you do too damn much because of your perpetual hatred that you have against Jacob. Okay, so let's start off with this scripture in Lovens be edifying. This is um, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, power. Thou hast sent a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water. But of hearing the words of the Lord, right? So, and and this lockdown, it, it might be even worse. Okay, matter of fact, we I, we know it's gonna be worse. All right, so yeah, six feet, only a certain amount of people in the store at a time. Same thing that they was doing in twenty twenty. Okay, um, uh, they gonna roll, they gonna roll out. Them, uh, them, them jabs again, and and which they already saying that uh we never said that we never pre pressured any, anybody into taking the jabs, and which yeah, you did, because a lot of the people from the medical field, uh, their job was on the line. Okay, I I, I have a family member, a brother, that worked for the medical field. He was on it. Well, all the medical staff has to, you know has to take it. That is mandatory. Okay, or else your job is on the line. You will be terminated. 
but yeah but now in uh 2022 they said that all those people that got fired they had to pay that back but now they coming with a second lockdown <laughs> okay and which uh they even said so themselves that the that the jab don't even protect against you from getting it you know so but like so, so what was the point of really taking it you know all right um so like you, you people you just got swindled into doing something that you don't really have no no information of what's really going in, on in your body and it's been studies of people that took that a lot of them like the men they didn't have pretty much no sperm cells in their body and a lot of people that's going that took it is going into cardiac arrest you know like all these athletes just dropping dead because um that jab it destroys your red blood cells your red blood cells carry oxygen to the rest of your body you know and what's your main organ that pumps blood your heart well your only organ that pumps blood your heart okay so you got the heart and the liver the liver f filters the blood you know so the body is pretty much shutting down especially if you're an athlete so your heart has to work harder to keep up with your you, you know your movement because you're running and jumping and uh and moving and your heart has to pump that blood all right so this is uh deuteronomy 9 6 understand therefore that the lord thy power giveth thee not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness for thou art a stiff-necked people right and you israelites you are stiff neck because even back then when the Lord gave us the land of uh, Israel, He didn't give it to us because we were righteous. He gave it. He gave it to us because that's what He promised our forefather Abraham. You know, it says, "For thou art stiff neck people." You know, you Israelites are stiff neck. We told you not to do it. You know, but you not having faith and not believing in Yahweh Hashem Shai, that's gonna be the death of you. All right, because the Lord says, shall I, when I come on the earth, shall I find faith? Let's get that scripture. So Luke 8 and 18. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man coming, shall he find faith on the earth? Right. Let's, uh. Matter of fact, let's read. Story seven. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith. On the earth, right? So the Lord's going to avenge us. And when he come, shall he find faith on the earth? You know, the only people that's going to have faith is the elect. The, the chosen. The chosen ones that was destined to get it from the beginning. Okay? We don't know if we chose it. That's the scary part of, about this truth. Because it's like a double-edged sword. You know, this truth can either save you or bug you the hell out. All right? And... It's all about if you endure to the end, because um, it's it's not about how many videos you do. It's not about how how deep you are, how, how many breakdowns you know, and which is good to learn the breakdowns. Like don't get me wrong, because you should want to master your craft as as a teacher. You should want to be a good teacher. But in 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 the same time, it's not gonna save you. Because I like I always say, you only as good as what a scriptures you apply. Because we've seen that many times. Where all them dudes that know all them scriptures, they go to this scripture, this scripture, this scripture, this scripture, this scripture, right? They turn out to be the most wickedest niggas in, in uh, GMS. 
Yeah, many examples of it. Yara Don from uh, Atlanta. You had uh, Element from Dallas. You had uh, the Mississippi Maniac, a war. Okay. And what are you at now? They know where to be found. They went back into the world. Or even worse, they're teaching wayward doctrine. Okay, because that's even worse than going back into the world. So now you... So now you... you um, Leading the sheep astray, so you you backtracking on your words. So how the hell you look? Okay. So this is Matthew twenty four and fourteen. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. I'm started thirteen actually. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right. So if you endure to the end, you shall be saved. Okay. And the gospel had already done reached the four corners of the earth. Okay. So yeah, it's already it's already gonna reach whoever it needs to reach. And whoever ain't gonna get it, they not gonna get it. Okay. Now uh, now it's possible for the Lord to change their mind. But at the end of the day, hey, we gotta move on. We gotta make sure that that uh that we write and that we um Doing what we supposed to be doing, cause you gotta seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay. Says second Edges sixteen and seventy, for there shall be in every place and in the cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right, so let's look at that word insurrection. Create a new tab. So a violent uprising against an authority of government. All right, so a great insurrection a great insurrection. All right. So rebellion, because the men of the Lord, hey, we the true govern government, <laughs> and all these other people, y'all the peasants, because the world is flipped upside down. So now you got the rulers and the kings, the princes, the government, the bishops, the elders, we all on the bottom, prophets, the seers, whatever you want to call us, right? We all on the bottom, and all you other people. You, you common folk are on top. Okay? So, yeah. So, like a rebellion, because these people go, they, they rebel against the word of the Lord. So, they're like, oh, okay, well, we just got to get them out of there. And no, which is, you really further condemning yourself. Okay? Verse, verse 71. They shall be like madmen, spare none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Right, so yeah, we all gonna be tried. You know, like, because we always say, like, the hour of temptation. Because you brothers and sisters out there, you ain't seen nothing yet. Alright, this is only the beginning. Okay? Like, you're not out in the wilderness yet. You're still in the comfort of your own home with AC, and you go in your refrigerator, you got orange juice, apple juice, some turkey meat. Some uh some cheese or whatever. <laughs> All right, we talking about when you know when, like when that C hip is mandatory and everybody at your job got the C hip besides you. Okay, and um, you know it ain't no food in your fridge, so you got to pray if uh to you how about shimmy on shot if you can find your next meal. They done probably kick, you know, probably lost your house because you don't really own anything. Because you can't pay your bills because you're not part of that new system. That's what we're talking about. Okay? You know? So let's keep reading. 
and we all gonna be tried. Here, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. Right? So don't be afraid. Don't doubt. You know, just know that Yahweh is dealing with you. You know, because when you ask the Lord for something, you got to ask with uh, confidence. You know, like, 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 please, Lord, uh, help me and, you know, allow me to have food and shelter, clothes, you know, clothing. Okay, stability. And then we're going to need all the prayers and all the, all we can get in those days. You know, because it's going to get that bad out here. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord God, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay? So, yeah. So, yeah, we ain't letting our sins weigh us down, because hey, none of us are perfect. But this is why we're looking for the Heavenly Father to save us. Because, yeah, it's about to get that bad. Because, hey, it, it's going to come with the with the quickness you know hey because them three years went by fast you know it just only seen it like like just yesterday in 2020 but it's been three years going on four okay and it is going to show you how fast the lord is speeding everything up all right and the lord he he ain't he he ain't playing with you people man he ain't playing with none of y'all all right You know, it, it like the main person who should be afraid of are are you Edomites? Cause you in power, and from what you did to the earth, from what you did to the children of Israel, from what you doing to the other nations. Cause hey, even even though the other nations are heathens and they they not the chosen, you still ain't supposed to be in a land. Um. Um. Stealing from them, stealing resources and trying to slut out the women. You know, going into villages, raping women. You ain't supposed to be doing no shit like that. Okay? So, yeah, man. You people, man. Hey, you eat them, you gotta go. You gotta go for sure. Hey, and all you people looking real stupid right about now. When I say you people, I mean you uh, Christian pastors. Because all y'all are, are pretty much being outed as what? False prophets. Okay? And, yeah, because, hey, the Lord, hey, he, he not playing with you people, man. And it, it's been evident that you don't know what you're talking about. That you not a man of the Lord. All right, and the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, prophesied against the prophets of Israel. <coughs> Excuse me. That prophesied and say unto them, that prophesied out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gates, neither made the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Right. Because <laughs> if you're not on the Lord's good side, if you don't have a hedge around you, then, you, then you're going to be taken. You know? And what's the hedge? You know, it's a spiritual hedge. It's uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because that's what's going to be able to save you and protect you from what's going on. Like, for example, if you don't know that the MOTB is the C-Hip, then what you going to do? You going to go out there and take it? Oh, yeah, God, no my heart. So how the hell are you going to be covered? You, you going to die with the rest of these people. You know? And, you know, you, you going to, it's the total opposite. You going to go to the lake of fire. 
Now, ain't that what you're supposed to be preventing your people from going to? The lake of fire? You know? Because, hey, man, talking to you, Israelites is like talking to a, a, a damn brick wall, man. It's just amazing. Just like when you talk to Israelites about these things, how they just try to just shun it off, like, ain't nothing gonna happen. And look, it's it's here. Like, what are you talking about? Ain't nothing gonna happen. It's, it's here. This shit about to go down in the next few months. Okay, starting off. We're going to be in the beginning stages of it. Because, <laughs> you know, we've been in the end since uh, Yahweh Shai, um, you know, made a sacrifice. But we in the end end. Like, <laughs> and it literally felt like nothing. Okay, because brother's only been alive for 20, 30 you know, some brothers less than that. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Okay. And it went by fast as hell. So, yeah, now we're about to see how much me I try to come back and save us. Okay. Because the uh, spirit of the prophets is made subject to the prophecies. Right, it says they have seen vanity and lying divination, saying the Lord, and the Lord have not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination, whereas ye say the Lord saith, I bet I have not spoken. Therefore, thus say the Lord, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore behold, I am against you, saith the Lord God. Right, and my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies and ye shall be in the assembly of my people neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel neither shall they enter to the land of Israel and ye shall know that I am the Lord right so yeah the Lord is going to deal with all you false prophets man you know it's like I had an attitude as uh, leave me alone like let me do what I want to do Okay, nah, you can't do what you want to do, man. And Yahweh Shemir he, Shai, hey, he hates that spirit. You know? Shit, we hate that spirit. So, hey, hey we understand how, how the Lord feel. You know? Like, how much more so him? Okay? Especially if, if you the most high, creator of all things. Like, damn. All right? Like, proud, don't even consider anything. Because, e because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace, and one built up the wall, and lo, others dabbed it with untempered mortar. Say unto them which dabbed it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstones, shall fall, and the storm, when it shall rent it, lo, when the wall is falling, Shall it not be said unto you, Where is the dobbing wherewith ye have dobbed it? Therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will even rent it with the storm wind and my fury. And there shall be an overflowing shower in my anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. All right, so yeah, all those, those walls and stuff that you Israelites those imaginary walls, you know, trying to convince yourself that everything gonna be okay, and all that. Um, hey, all that shit gonna, hey, the Lord gonna make a, a speedy riddance of that shit, man. <laughs> hey, shit, hey, and and good for all you damn Israelites, man. Because hey, you just don't want to get down with the program, you know. So the Lord, He ain't gonna keep on babying you. The Lord is is a is a is a is, is pleading with you now. Alright. So this is uh, Ezekiel 33. I'm going to start at 30. Also thou son of man. The children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls. And in the doors of the houses. And speak one to another. Everyone to his brother saying, Come, I pray you. 
and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come unto thee as the people come, and they sit before thee as, as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. <laughs> For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Right? So they hear the words, but they do them not. Okay? Oh, uh, yeah. And even then, you know, you got niggas that watch, um, that watch the camps that went and took the jail. <laughs> okay? And not to say that you going to die if you take the jab, but hey, why would you risk it? Because, yeah, hey, the Lord going uh, to show mercy on some people that took the jab. Okay? But, uh, but yeah. That, that, that's not going to show you that, uh, that all y'all going to die. But, hey. And... Cause I, but at the same time, hey, that scientist said that majority of people that took that juice, they lifespan is only three to five years, you know, especially if you're an athlete. If you're an athlete and you constantly putting stress and strain on your body by working out, then you just you just speeding up the death process, you know, because your body can't your body can't keep up. Because that juice is inside you. You know? The juicy juice. But yeah. I don't know why I had that up. But Kyra, man. And yeah, you people, you just don't have no idea, man. You, you still think that you're in a good case and that, uh, yeah, yeah, everything gonna be okay. No, it ain't gonna be okay, man. You know? It's not gonna be okay. That, like, that just shows a lack of understanding that, uh, that you people have, man. First Thessalonians 5. And I'm gonna start at one. But the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you for yourselves. Know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not children of the night, nor darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Right. So, yeah, peace and safety and yeah. sudden destruction. Because, yeah, because, um, man, this place is over, man. It's done. It's finished. Okay. <laughs> hey, and, and when you think about it, you know, you're like, damn, like the Lord really... Like the Lord really had that seducing spirit out here to uh, to trick you people, to trick you Israelites, to make it think, make it seem like that everything was in a good case, and that like yeah, everything was gonna go back to normal. Yeah, yeah, Jesus was going, Jesus was gonna fix everything, and you know, yeah, yeah, we gonna pray COVID away, you know. And nah, man, Jesus didn't do shit because he about to go in another lockdown. All right, hey, and call on Halam like how about me all shot because the faster this place go down, the faster the true kingdom be established. You know, it says for they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. All right, so kind. Of, so yeah, these people that sleep, man, you, hey, shit, they they want to be sleep, you know, because they find comfort in uh, lies. All right, hey, hey, this is not gonna help you because, 
uh, because the Lord already told you what was going to happen. You know, I ain't going to worry about it. Like, what do you mean you're not going to worry about it? Okay, like, yes, yeah, one thing to have faith, but just to pretend that it ain't going to happen. You know, you just, it just shows how weak your spirit are. Is. Okay. And that you really don't, you really don't want it to happen. You really praying that the Lord don't, don't make it happen so you continue in your bullshit. All right. But yeah, hey, hey, all that is about to come to an end. Hey, all the scoffing and the yeah, like I, I, I've been reading the Bible before you was born type attitude. Like all, all that is about to be done away with in these next coming months. Hey, shit, I can't wait. Hey, call the halal, man. Yeah, how much me on shot? Cause yeah, it's it's gonna be evident. All right. Uh, Romans three and. Three, for what if some did not believe, should the unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? God forbid, let God be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sin, thou mightest overcome with thou judged, right? Yeah. So just because you don't believe, you know, like, man, <laughs> like Jake think they can, Jake have faith, Jake do the total opposite of what they're supposed to do. Like instead of having faith that it's going to happen and that you're going to be with the Lord, you don't want it to happen so you can stay right here in Babylon. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sick, man. Sick. <laughs> That's why a lot of you Israelites got to get put down, man. Because it's just like your, like your, your whole thinking pattern is, is, is off, man. <laughs> Like, just how you think is off. You know, and you just like Esau eat him. You know, because his, cause his whole thinking pattern is off. You know, he justify his wickedness and, and uh, his self. When he when he do the things that he do, he, you know, he's it's like, it's like you talk yourself into it. For a specific scripture, Can't find it. Let me see if I can find it. Well, it went to the fact that uh, I was actually reading it last night. But it, it says something to the fact that the spirit in you. It's not right. But I mean, you can go to Habakkuk, but it was a, you know, it was like a precept to that. <coughs> Habakkuk. Habakkuk, the second chapter. Yeah, it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. 
but the just shall live by his faith, right? Yeah. So yeah, Esau is Edom. Spirit is not upright in him. So how much more so? Well, how much less so you, you Israelites? Well, you Israelites, your spirit ain't upright in Yah. And that's who Yah go to for need and want of all things. Okay? Let me see. Bear with me, Yaki. One second. Yeah, I can't find it right now, but, um, what can I? What kind? Yeah, it's about it's about to go down. It is about to go down. I call her a lot. I'm like how about Shmi or Shai? Oh, I just pray that Yahweh Shmi or Shai be with all you Akim and your families, your wives, your children. All right, the rest of the believers out there in the world. Okay, that might be going through it. That's been on the bottom for. Seem like forever. Okay. Let me just get to the point. Um, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is coming down unto you having great wrath because you know that he had but a short time. Right? Because you're this devil, you know he had but a short time. So you got to get stuff moving and popping. So, um, so he can get this new, this NWO established, okay? I mean, and, I mean, everybody talking about this, like the whole mass mandate is coming back. They already doing that in, um, Atlanta. So your mass mandate So in that certain school So Morris Brown College So kind So slowly but surely And then when you see it You actually see people You see people wearing masks Masked again Okay You see it So kind Yeah you people You about to be in for a rude awakening man Whew And, and all you women out there that did the men of the Lord wrong, y'all ass is about to get turned inside out. All right. The Lord about to jack up all you damn unbelievers, man. All y'all. Here I go to. I ain't it off with this. I don't want to make this too much longer. Lord, 
saw with us. So second entry is nine and nine. Then they shall be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways and they they have cast them away dis despitefully. Shall dwell in torments, right? For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law where they have yet had liberty, when there's yet place of repentance was open unto them understood it not but despised it the same was known at the death by pain right the same was known at the death by pain so you already know that you already know that they gonna perish all right you already know that they gonna go eventually so why even worry about it you know you know just just worry about just worry about yourself because the lord revealed it unto you you know, because I mean, I mean, it's nothing to shut down the scoffer. Just let them not believe, you know. Which really, you people gonna believe eventually. But when you believe, it might be too late for you. It might be too late to believe. You know, you should have had faith and should have believed before this shit happened. Like, don't believe now that it happened. It's like a chick that don't want to be with you, so she go and freak off with another nigga. And then when it don't work out, the grass went greener, and now she want to come back to you. And no, it don't work like that. Get out of here. And that's what the Lord gonna say to you. Hey, away with you. I never knew you. This is Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Right. So what is the will of the Lord? Keeping the law, turning the commandments to the best of your ability. Okay. What you talking about, man? Like, like Jake think that they can, that they can just do whatever it say in the Bible. Now do the opposite, whatever it say in the Bible, break the laws. And then God still got them. <laughs> like, no, nigga. Don't work like that. Many were saying to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You know, have we not called on Jesus? Not called on Yeshua? Have we not called on Yeshia? Which is not the name of the Lord, which is that's actually the name of Isaiah. Okay. You even got, you even got to have Israelites that you can, don't even know the name. And um, what's the Lord going to say to him? Let's keep reading. And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right. So you depart from me. I never knew you. And um, hey, it's going to be weeping and gnashing the teeth. Okay, because... <laughs> You know, Jake, yeah, man, man, I'm good, bro, I'm good. I'm good, yeah, I don't even need no help. <laughs> yeah, all right, nigga. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, end it off with that. Hey, I want to say, call on, hello, I'm going to how about Shamil Shai, Shalom, and a Bible ball. See you in the next one.